MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory is a research institute at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology formed by the 2003 merger of the Laboratory for Computer Science and the Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Housed within the Stata Center, CSAIL is the largest on-campus laboratory as measured by research scope and membership. Research activities CSAIL's research activities are organized around a number of semi-autonomous research groups, each of which is headed by one or more professors or research scientists. These groups are divided up into seven general areas of research Artificial intelligence Computational biology Graphics and vision Language and learning Theory of computation Robotics Systems includes computer architecture, databases, distributed systems, networks and networked systems, operating systems, programming methodology, and software engineering among others. In addition, CSAIL hosts the World Wide Web Consortium W3C. Topic: History Computing research at MIT began with Vannevar Bush's research into a differential analyzer and Claude Shannon's electronic Boolean algebra in the 1930s, the Wartime Radiation Laboratory, the postwar Project Whirlwind and Research Laboratory of Electronics RLE, and Lincoln Laboratories SAGE in the early 1950s. At MIT, researches in the field of artificial intelligence began in late 1950s. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Project Mac. On July 1, 1963, Project Mac, the Project on Mathematics and Computation, later backronymed to Multiple Access Computer, Machine-Aided Cognitions, or Man and Computer, was launched with a $2 million grant from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. Project Mac's original director was Robert Fano of MIT's Research Laboratory of Electronics RLE. Fano decided to call Mac a project rather than a laboratory. For reasons of internal MIT politics, if Mac had been called a laboratory, then it would have been more difficult to raid other MIT departments for research staff. The program manager responsible for the DARPA grant was J. C. R. Licklider, who had previously been at MIT conducting research in RLE, and would later succeed Fano as director of Project Mac. Project Mac would become famous for groundbreaking research in operating systems, artificial intelligence, and the theory of computation. Its contemporaries included Project Genie at Berkeley, the Stanford Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, and somewhat later University of Southern California's USC's Information Sciences Institute. An AI group including Marvin Minsky the director, John McCarthy inventor of LISP and a talented community of computer programmers was incorporated into the newly formed Project Mac. It was interested principally in the problems of vision, mechanical motion and manipulation, and language, which they view as the keys to more intelligent machines. 
In the 1960s to 1970s the AI group shared a computer room with a computer initially a PDP-6, and later a PDP-10 for which they built a time-sharing operating system called Incompatible Timesharing System ITS. .The early Project Mac community included Fano, Minsky, Licklider, Fernando J. Corbato, and a community of computer programmers and enthusiasts enthusiasts among others who drew their inspiration from former colleague John McCarthy. These founders envisioned the creation of a computer utility whose computational power would be as reliable as an electric utility. To this end, Corbato brought the first computer time-sharing system, Compatible Time-Sharing System CTSS, with him from the MIT Computation Center, using the DARPA funding to purchase an IBM 7094 for research use. One of the early focuses of Project Mac would be the development of a successor to CTSS, Multics, which was to be the first high-availability computer system, developed as a part of an industry consortium including General Electric and Bell Laboratories. In 1966, Scientific American featured Project Mac in the September thematic issue devoted to computer science, that was later published in book form. At the time, the system was described as having approximately 100 TTY terminals, mostly on campus but with a few in private homes. Only 30 users could be logged in at the same time. The project enlisted students in various classes to use the terminals simultaneously in problem solving, simulations, and multi-terminal communications as tests for the multi-access computing software being developed. Topic: <laughs> LCS and AI Lab In the late 1960s, Minsky's artificial intelligence group was seeking more space, and was unable to get satisfaction from project director Licklider. University space allocation politics being what it is, Minsky found that although Project Mac as a single entity could not get the additional space he wanted, he could split off to form his own laboratory and then be entitled to more office space. As a result, the MIT AI Lab was formed in 1970, and many of Minsky's AI colleagues left Project Mac to join him in the new laboratory, while most of the remaining members went on to form the Laboratory for Computer Science LCS. Talented programmers such as Richard Stallman, who used Tico to write Emacs, flourished in the AI Lab during this time. Those researchers who did not join the smaller AI lab formed the Laboratory for Computer Science and continued their research into operating systems, programming languages, distributed systems, and the theory of computation. Two professors, Hal Abilson and Gerald J. Sussman, chose to remain neutral. Their group was referred to variously as Switzerland and Project Mac for the next 30 years. The AI lab led to the invention of Lisp machines and their attempted commercialization by two companies in the 1980s, Symbolics and Lisp Machines Inc. This divided the AI lab into camps and resulted in a hiring away of many employees. The experience was influential on Stallman's later work on the GNU project. Nobody had envisioned that the AI Labs hacker group would be wiped out, but it was. That is the basis for the free software movement, the experience I had, the life that I've lived at the MIT AI lab, to be working on human knowledge, and not be standing in the way of any bodies further using and further disseminating human knowledge. Topic. 
CSAIL On the 40th anniversary of Project Max establishment, July 1, 2003, LCS was merged with the AI Lab to form the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, or CSAIL. This merger created the largest laboratory over 600 personnel on the MIT campus and was regarded as a reuniting of the diversified elements of Project Mac. <laughs> Outreach activities The Amara from Swahili word for power Group sponsors a variety of outreach programs which bridge the global digital divide. Its aim is to find and implement long-term, sustainable solutions which will increase the availability of educational technology and resources to domestic and international communities. These projects are run under the aegis of CSAIL and staffed by MIT volunteers who give training, install and donate computer setups in Greater Boston, Massachusetts, Kenya, Native American Indian tribal reservations in the American Southwest such as the Navajo Nation, the Middle East, and Fiji Islands. The Communitech project strives to empower underserved communities through sustainable technology and education and does this through the MIT Used Computer Factory UCF, providing refurbished computers to underserved families, and through the Families Accessing Computer Technology FACT classes, it trains those families to become familiar and comfortable with computer technology. Notable researchers Including members and alumni of CSAIL's predecessor laboratories MacArthur Fellows Tim Berners-Lee, Eric Demain, Dina Katabi, Daniela L. Russ, Regina Barzilay, Peter Shore and Richard Stallman Turing Award recipients Leonard M. Adelman, Fernando J. Corbato, Shafi Goldwasser, Butler W. Lampson, John McCarthy, Silvio Micali, Marvin Minsky, Ronald L. Rivest, Adi Shamir, Barbara Liskov, Michael Stonebricker, and Tim Berners-Lee Rolf Navanlina Prize recipients Madhu Sudan, Peter Shore, Konstantinos Daskalakis Gödel Prize recipients Shafi Goldwasser, two-time recipient, Silvio Micali, Maurice Herlihy, Charles Rakoff, Johan Hosted, Peter Shore, and Madhu Sudan. Grace Murray Hopper Award recipients Robert Metcalf, Shafi Goldwasser, Guy L. Steele Jr., Richard Stallman, and W. Daniel Hillis. Textbook authors Harold Abilson and Gerald J. Sussman, Richard Stallman, Thomas H. Corman, Charles E. Leeserson, Patrick Winston, Ronald L. Rivest, Barbara Liskov, John Guttig, Jerome H. Saltzer, Franz Koshook, and Clifford Stein, David D. Clark, former Chief Protocol Architect for the Internet, co-author with Jerome H. Saltzer also a CSAIL member and David P. Reed of the influential paper, End-to-End -end Arguments in Systems Design. Eric Grimson, expert on computer vision and its applications to medicine, appointed Chancellor of MIT March 2011. Bob Frankston, co-developer of VisiCalc, the first computer spreadsheet Seymour Papert, inventor of the logo programming language Joseph Weizenbaum, creator of the ELISA computer simulated therapist Notable alumni 
several Project Mac alumni went on to further revolutionize the computer industry. Robert Metcalf, who later invented Ethernet at Xerox PARC and later founded 3Com. Topic: Directors. Directors of Project MacRobert Fano, 1963 to 1968. J. C. R. Licklider, 1968–1971 Edward Fredkin, 1971–1974 Michael Dertuzos, 1974–1975 Directors of the AI Lab Marvin Minsky, 1970–1972 Patrick Winston, 1972 to 1997. Rodney Brooks, 1997 to 2003. Directors of the Laboratory for Computer Science. Michael Dertuzos, 1975 to 2001. Victor Zhu, 2001 to 2003. Directors of C. Sale. Rodney Brooks, 2003 to 2007. Victor Zhu, 2007 to 2011. Anant Agarwal, 2011-2012. Daniela L. Russ, 2012. Equals equals. See also.